All right, guys, so today is a very special day because we're watching it, and there's just so many things we gotta address. So number one, this uh, won our Patreon poll, but not really, the 2017 <laughs> version did. Right. So I thought it would be absolutely atrocious if our first introduction to it wasn't the original, because uh, I could see the comments, you know? Yeah, I can slapping. see the comments now. Uh, the second thing is, this is probably the most dreaded movie in the history of our channel because of what, baby? Um, well, guys, I just really don't like clowns. Like, that's just the truth. I hate them, <laughs> to be honest with you. Tell them why, though. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> yes. Can okay. I? Okay. I want you to. My, my version is funny. So one day, she's, you know what I'm saying? She's sliding around the circus, you know? And then a clown comes up, and she's got some popcorn, and it runs over her foot, hurts her toe, she drops her popcorn, and then the clown laughs at her and rides off. Yeah, on a unicycle, though, so just think about that. Well, what else would a clown be on? A Harley Davidson? <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys, that made my fear of clowns that day. So ever since then, I've just been not too sure about them because I don't really know if they're humans. I don't know if they're happy. You know, they're creepy. Let's just put it that way. They're pretty creepy. I feel like the creepy stage of clowns left when they started popping out of trash cans and getting hit by people. <laughs> you, remember, you don't remember that? There was a whole thing where clowns would walk around and like scare people. Oh, my God. But then yeah. people got tired of it and they sort of knew it was like a TikTok trend or whatever the heck it was. Back oh, then. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they started like violently assaulting them <laughs> and then claiming it was self-defense, even though they kind of knew what was happening. But uh, those videos were crazy. Well, I'm so glad I missed those because that would also further my fear of these things. Next thing we need to address, guys, is Mrs. October's never seen this movie i've never seen this movie but i've seen bits and pieces of it um we were gonna watch this movie about six years ago i was i was really down to watch it she just wouldn't let us watch it dude so. i just i couldn't man that's just the truth i was about this close to saying this too damn bad but you know what <laughs> i'm glad that i didn't because here we are today and we're gonna experience the story uh linearly lin linearly <laughs> but we're gonna experience the story together today and i know i know a lot about what this character is probably a lot more than you right all i know is it's a stephen king and we've checked out stephen king once or twice here shawshank and the shining yeah because i'm definitely more more seasoned than mrs october when it comes to these things for sure she's still learning but uh, when i was a kid i watched a lot of horror with my grandma you know so i've always had a, like a I kind of like horror movies in a way. I just haven't watched them in ages, but I used to watch a lot with my grandma and I'm really excited to watch this one, man. But this is Stephen King's It. So let's go. Let's go. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all should really do that. It helps out a lot. And if you really want to help us out, man, just like the video. Uh, that's basically the best thing you can do. And comment. Let us know your favorite part of the movie. Right. Or any fun facts. You're a brave man, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Curry as Pennywise. I wonder if he's related to that guy that's... Who, Jim Curry? Who you talking about? Nothing. I didn't see what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a basketball. <laughs> oh, Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoying today. <laughs> We're trying to record a movie over here. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. Just like, why would you not be on the same page, though? About I thought you did a karate chop. <laughs> so, yeah. oh my I did God. it. I, it was an ugly shot. I'm not going to lie. Steph Curry comes up like this. Okay. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> They want us to be acting scared right now. Okay. We acting like we're at a comedy festival. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. That's that nice China. Hi, Dad. Come on, Let's get a store. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> uh oh, -uh, boy. That was wild. Why are he in their laundry like that? Maria, scare mama now. <laughs> that would genuinely be awful, wouldn't it? Chief's gonna have a cow when he sees you nosing around, Mike. Just like the last time. Anybody see anything? Uh, so I told you to stay out of this, Hamlet. Six kids missing or dead, a major cause for alarm here. There's something terribly wrong here in Derry. I'm the cop. You're the library. The That's cop. Go but, ahead. Sorry, no. No, the cops are just always so dismissive, ain't they? Yeah, but he's just a librarian. He's an active one. He's just seeing a pattern, I think. Georgie, May 28th, another killing today. It's time to tell the others what's happening. Oh, I hope to God I'm wrong. That kind of reminded me of The Shining a little bit. How they would talk over the phone? Yeah. 
Taggart steps onto the moors as the fog curls around his ankles. A shadowy figure lurches into frame. Oh, his glasses yeah. tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he was in that zone writing, huh? It's cold. Sorry. I'm asleep. Bill, is that you? This is Mike Hanlon, Bill. Swear to me that if it isn't dead, you'll all come back. It's back. Like it? ID? Sure. Yeah. I found a photograph of George. Oh, no. Georgie. Why is he telling his wife lies with his ponytail? I love the way this is filmed, though. Just how old it feels. Mm -hmm. I think horror just the old nostalgic feel of the old film, I guess. Horror just has a place there to me. You get what I'm trying to say? It don't feel so hot. <laughs> you made it for me? Can I go sail it? S -s seal it first. <laughs> it's in the s -s -s cellar. Oh, Aw, that little kid's so cute. He's about to face some fears, huh? He's brave. He's smart too. He'd be right where to look. I would be like, Para, what? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I wish you could come too. Thanks, Bill. You've got cooties all over me. Jo Georgie. Be careful. Sure, sure. I, will. I feel like George is the main character. Georgie. I like that phraseology. Georgie's gonna have a, or your mom's gonna have a bird. Yeah. <laughs> I love his little raincoat. His brother made a good boat. No, oh no. no. Mm -hmm. Hi, Georgie. Mm mm, that is not worth it. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say hello? Come on, Bucko. Don't you want a balloon? Supposed to take stuff from strangers. I, Georgie, am Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Do you recognize that name, Pennywise? Yeah. So now we know each other. I guess so. I gotta go. Go! That is not how it works. Out. This. My ghost! Exactly, dig it. You want it, don't you, Georgie? All sorts of surprises down here. And balloons, too. Is that like a crackhead? Oh, yes. They float. They float. <laughs> when you're down here. Float! So! Oh, no! You're no evil, for thou art with me. No. He got little Georgie, didn't he? Have you ever heard me go, Hiya, Georgie. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hiya, Georgie. Damn, you can't even row, row, row your boat no more. I feel like Pennywise is definitely at the ditty party. <laughs> Oh. Bro, that was actually creepy. No way. Uh, maybe he's trying to tell him something. Are you all right? Georgie's picture. Oh, that's the author when he was younger. Mom, Mom, oh, she just don't you care. In Georgie's room. I don't want you ever coming in here again, son. <laughs> what? Is he the only one who sees it? I'm pretty sure. Maybe that's what made him an author. I forgot. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> We're in the middle of making a movie. And I who was that on the phone? Mike Hamlin, my brother who died. Yes. He was murdered. I know this doesn't make any sense, but I have to go. Why are you stuttering like I that? don't know. I used to stutter when I was a kid. If you're going back, I'm going to. I don't even think that. Promise me! You're crazy. Crazy. I feel like you wouldn't have let me just disappear like that. If, if you told me you're about to go defeat a clown, I'll be like, all right. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll protect the house. Don't worry about it. Oops. It's a tragedy. Yeah, honey, we got ourselves a real <laughs> tragedy. tragedy. Here, this, here you are, my good man. Come on, honey. Oh, damn, that's his house. Hello, hello, you go. Oh, he's an architect. Maybe that's his office. <laughs> man has a funky house, don't he? Kind of cool. It's unique. I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to live there, but it's definitely cool. Uh, I'd Airbnb uh, it. <laughs> hello? It's me, Mike. Boy. <laughs> come back. No, Mike's gosh. literally the bearer of bad news right now, ain't he? Will you come? That's what the other guy said. I'll come. Yeah, I don't know why they're like, maybe suppressing the memories? <laughs> All my worst stuff in my life, I remember the most. My name is Ben Hanscom. Look at that gut. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Ben. Well, I like to read a lot. We have a wonderful library here, Ben. Thank you, Miss Douglas. That's a creepy sounding name for a town, though, isn't it? Dairy. Mm-hmm. 
Well, he had that talent as a kid, too. <laughs> Henry Bowers, you will stay for one hour after school every day this week. My father will tan my hide. Report to the principal's office. Yeah, zero tolerance for bullies. You're dead, fat boy. <laughs> now you misread that. She just don't like greases. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be some funeral, friend. The sheriff has instituted a 7 p.m. curfew. I want you to be careful. He's looking out for that bully, huh? Like this place so well, you're gonna stand there all day? <laughs> Honestly, Ronnie, some people have no class. Some people have janitors Dang. for parents. Dang. So long, Ben Hansko. I'm Beverly Marsh. Beverly Marsh, Beverly Marsh, Aww. Beverly Marsh. It's like the beginning of Up. And mm. gives, yeah. Hey, look, it's the fat uh -oh. boy. <laughs> Dang, you got there quick. What do you want? I want to teach you something. Oh. I want to make sure you remember my name. I'll remember. How am I going to make sure? <gasps> Ask me tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, don't really cut him. Cut him? Huh? Let's see. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, he's lucky to fall down that hill. You're going to die! Hey, this kind of reminds me of Stranger Things, doesn't it? Kind of. Yeah. A bunch of kids facing some bullies. There was three of them. Mm -hmm. And like jump down the waterfall or don't. Yeah. What's this? Looks like a geek waiting pool to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so these so kids are just hell in this neighborhood, here? huh? Hey, look at the dam. Mm -hmm. Give me that. That's for my asthma. Oh, is that a fact, sis? Dang. You seen a fat kid run by here? Big fat kid, all messed up. Let's go. I can't wait till the clown gets in. Oh, girls. And him. God. They gotta go. Oh, no. It's empty. To be honest, that guy sort of hit it out, didn't he? Are they gone? Yes. Look, can you stay here with my friend while I go get his medicine? Yeah. No, because if the boys come back, he's gonna run off. What was that? Raising it? He died in the big sea. Cancer. And my dad died too. He was shot down in Korea. Hey! I'm back! Does he always stutter that much? It's worse since his kid brother died. Pulled one of his arms right off, just like a wing off a fly. But thanks for staying. I'm scared he's gonna slip into a coma like I'm Dr. Kildare. <laughs> he's got a good little arm too. You see the motion? What you doing, cuz? Ooh, a poem. It's he said, Ooh. Your hair is winter fire. <laughs> Poor kid. Oh, he doesn't get a second. Oh, He's only here because mom says it's our Christian duty. Because his dad died, so he has to go live with her. That sucks. You're spoiling the boy, Arlene. That poor nug. Come on inside now and apologize. I hate it here. Yeah, that'd be a tough ask, huh? Because mm -hmm. he's probably done it 50 times already. But you got to stop at the stop sign, though. Left, right, back left. <laughs> Daddy? Hi, Ben. That's my home now, son. No, it is not. What a balloon, Ben. <laughs> hey, blow. Oh, that's Come what here, that guy son. said. Hell <laughs> <laughs> no. They just disappeared. <gasps> <laughs> you float too. Oh, heck yeah, he's like the tortured artist. Oh, who just has God. it all, but he's got this trauma. He's thinking about just ending it all. It's stuck. So this is tough. So this is everyone figuring out that I guess he came back Everybody or something. Yeah. Was that Beverly? Right. Yeah, it's Miss oh, Marsh's office, goodness. though. We've got a minute. I'll take it. Get their number and close the door. <laughs> that looked like Christian Bale. He's such a typical like '90s guy. I'm gonna show him around. You're gonna play the charming, flamboyant designer. I'm gonna play hardball, and when it's over, we're gonna be rich. You can plan yourself right now. Just for good luck. I feel like he drives a convertible. Yeah. Don't ever contradict me in front of Pam again, okay? Yeah, I don't like him, Bevy. That's right. Damn, they're running a straight consignment sweatshop, huh? I'm Beverly Marsh. Maybe your uncles need to lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they won. <laughs> Just like what? She's enjoying them wow. fine things. Hi, Cam. Looks, I remember. How are you? Look, are you sitting down? <laughs> she literally was sniffing a rose. I've got to go to Maine. He's an old dear friend. I have to. Dang! Man, go get the I Beretta. That's coming. That's a bunny. Forgotten your lessons, Bevy. Long since last time. <laughs> no Been shot. too long. You get into bed. No. <laughs> Move your head, brother. <laughs> Jeez. Or catch it. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wax off that bit. I will 
kill you. Bells! He's a little weasel for that. To be honest, though, you could probably knock me out if you threw something in my head that close. But my girl got a cannon, boys. I'm trying to tell y'all. Me okay, too, though. Please. What airline, miss? I, uh, I need to go to Maine. All right, we'll find one that goes to Maine. What's in Maine? Family? Lobster. Friends. And that. Best I ever had. Daddy, breakfast is ready. I'll get it. Now we see you. Oh, he left a note. Oh, the poem. He said her hair was embers. <laughs> He's aggressive, ain't he? <laughs> January embers. <laughs> My heart burns there, too. Who's at the door, baby? What you got there? Nothing. Let me see that. Oh, no. You've been doing something you shouldn't. You've been fooling around with some boy. I worry about you a lot, baby. Daddy, please. Not even 12 and already running with some boy. You just let me alone. Come here. You come to me. No. <laughs> so she's you been dealing with that. Back here, baby. That's like Jenny's daddy. What's that girl from uh, Spider-Man? Uh, MJ. Yeah, Mary Jane's dad. Hi. Man, you done cost enough so trouble. I scared you. Are you okay? Yeah. Haven't you got anything better to do than go sneaking up on people? <laughs> oh, I was thinking, it being Saturday and all, you could come down with me to the Barrens. The Barrens? This is Eddie. Oh, she about and to be a regular there. Hi. Hi. Oh, did she just give eyes to Bill? Do you guys know each other already? Oh, Bevel's man. Uh, sure. By George, Martha, it's the River Nile. <laughs> <laughs> the damn Richie. wild thornberries over here. I know. Richie told you. <laughs> <laughs> Means he's really smart and says oil a lot. Got a hymen half with his hand. Tends to make him hyperactive. So you, uh, what are you, building a dam or something? How do you know to work? I Why you come know. in here questioning uh, yeah. everybody? Just know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, okay. <laughs> this is wholesome, though. You that they're just building that. a little dam together. What did he say his name was? The guy with the glasses? Stan or something like that? No, Stan's the Jewish one. Richie? Eddie, oh, Richie, something like that. When you move, it's slow. Stop, that's so cold. We could blow out the whole barrens if we wanted to. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. We did it. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I'll go this way. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs> Aww. So he got his little heart broke and he's been at the wild ever since, huh? Away! See you, Beverly. See ya. My heart burns there too. Help me. Help me. Mm -mm. Help me, Beverly. Hello? I remember this one, everybody. Is someone there? Oh, hell no. What? Was that for real? Daddy! The bathroom, Daddy, the bathroom! In the sink! That's yeah, so he, he don't see that blood. Well, what is it you think you saw? Oh. Speak up, girl. I worry a lot. Now explain yourself. There, oh. there was a big fat spider. It crawled out of the drain. And I guess it crawled back down again. It drains the size of the hall and tunnels. Nothing there now. Get to bed. So creepy. I know, like. <laughs> you will die if what? you try to fight us. You die if you try to fight us. That was so much creepier this time around. You die. I remember this scene. This is try. The... <laughs> try what? To save him? Yeah. A Tudor, what's that called? A Tudor style house or something like that? Um, Eddie, Eddie, where are you? Eddie, uh, where are you going? I have to go away for a while. Eddie, this isn't like you. You're in trouble, aren't you? Tell me who was on the phone. Oh, so Answer Mike me. called him off screen. Answer me, Eddie. Hey, you're Mom. scaring me so bad. You've got to tell me. It sort of feels like going? a long intro, doesn't it? Dairy. There's nothing for you there. There never was, Eddie. Eddie. So his mom never stopped being so overprotective, huh? Mm -hmm. Jeez, Eddie. You look like you seen a ghost. Move it! Eddie! Boys, if I'm ever rich enough where I can afford a driver, oh my god. <laughs> Joey, I can't even I'm sorry imagine that. 
you I'm worried about. Hey, I'm fine. Yeah? Dude, I know this is so weird to say, probably, but when I see uh, Inhaler, it made me think of, like, vapes or something. Like, mm -hmm. a prerequisite to <laughs> vapes. Because everyone's walking around sucking on vapes now. Yeah. It's almost like they're walking around with inhalers or something. Is that that Teenage Werewolf movie? No, I ain't seen that one either. You should add it to the list. Well, it was, I, don't, I don't know. It was just playing at the Paramount Cinema. Hey, you know that Marvel project we just watched? Maybe that's what they got it from because that's all black and white. Mm -hmm. Maybe they tried to recreate it or something. <laughs> <laughs> that one will have had dentures. Oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> better go. Dude. Don't you know about those three? I was a teenage werewolf. That's what it's called. Let's get out of here! Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, but that guy's going to be at school. <laughs> oh, look. Mm-mm. We already know who's out there. It scares me green. Is that a compliment on our very first date? I love you, too. Oh, he's trying to see how I don't see how Ben wandered back down there. I'd have been like, hell no. <laughs> yeah. It's the best of my whole life. Andy Casbrook. She ain't changed. I was worried sick. I almost called the police. Go home. See you tomorrow, Eddie. What is she, like a hypochondriac or something? Or like a scaredy cat? I don't want you to play with him anymore. No, That's the wrong word. Sorry, ball. guys. What's the word where you basically, you try to make your kid feel like he's sick all the time? Yeah, like... Munchausen syndrome or something? Not hypochondriac. What's it called? You... What's it called? That lady, did, that girl did it. Dix, Dude, Pixie Rose. Little Pixie or Rose or Dixie Rose or whatever the hell her name was. Yeah, I saw that little documentary. Her mom was crazy as hell. So was she. All right, you guys, quit that running. You take phys ed, you sweat. You take a shower, got it? Oh, he didn't want to shower with the other kids. I still think it's crazy that guys actually do that. Girls never did that when I was growing up. I think we had a lot of sus coaches back then. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be in that thing, <laughs> flopping around, boy. I'm trying to tell y'all. And this is exactly why I wouldn't do it. Oh my gosh. Hi, I just wanted to say hello. What's his beef with them? You better run out the shower. No way. Here I am, Wheezy. <laughs> Wheezy. Hey, you're gonna like it down here. Oh. Won't do any good to run. Girly boy, see you with your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> Why is he doing this? He's gonna have all kinds of reasons to not want to go shower with people, ain't he? And the next thing you know, I'm feeling my way to the top. I was about to say, is that Jeff Foxworthy? I don't know, Jeff. It's definitely not, but it looked like him for a minute. It's Richie, probably. They all grew up so damn successful. I'm surprised none of them just don't work at crystals or something. Well, maybe the clown cursed them by scaring them, but gave them good luck or something. <laughs> he ain't a damn leprechaun. <laughs> I can't tell you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is Ricky Tozer. Who's this, Elvis? Who? Mike Hanlon from Derry. Do you remember? Yeah, sure. I remember you, Pally. What about something for Carson? He's like Godzilla. He's talking about. Oh my gosh. Abroad? The mob? I know what it is. I don't insult my intelligence. We've been through a lot together, Rich. <laughs> he said, "Fine." He put the glasses on. You're doing fine. You can handle this. No. This can't be happening. Help! 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 <laughs> what? Why did that get him? I don't know anything about a werewolf in this. Oh, maybe it changed into him the same way he changed into what's his name's dad. Yeah. Yeah. But at that moment, they released the stones. They had learned to be strong together. They had beaten the dragon with their magic stones, and nothing would ever be the same again. You gotta write that one down, Bill. That's my favorite. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I want to grow up at all. I want to be a train conductor and see the world. That is if your mom ever lets you cross the street. Oh, and he's on a train right now. How about you, Bev? A painter, maybe. A fighter pilot. When I'm old enough, I'm going to join the Air Force. Can I tell you guys something? If, if you guys laugh, I'll never... We won't laugh, will we? No. Yeah. In Georgie's room. What on earth? Look at this mess! Who the hell is that? <laughs> at the officer on duty. They're fixing to backflood all the drains in town. I showed them how it is my fault. 
Me too. Yeah, I was in on it too. And me. Now listen to me, all of you, little Velma Daniels. Velma Daniels? Not little Velma Daniels. Her body was found this morning down by the canal. So if you come down here to play, come together like you are now, understand? That means together all the time. Your hands on it. I thought he was about to turn into the clown and rip their arms That's off. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Yeah, because he, he ripped his arms yesterday. off, apparently. He's been acting awful moody lately. Of course, this food. Who can blame Bruh. Him? I just want to point out, like, they're eating real food in school. The, the junk they eat in school now is so crap. Yeah, I saw, like, some peas on their plate. And some mashed potatoes with gravy on it. Like, I wouldn't just scoop that up and kill it right now. Just saying. <laughs> All right, Curly and Mom. Who threw it, huh? Was it you? Tell me. The Paramount Theater. Who did it? <laughs> oh, no. Have you ever... Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> no. Nah. Clean this up. Mr. Marsh is in like Beverly's dad. Yeah, because that girl said some people's dad's a janitor. Yeah. This movie does a really good job with the callbacks. Huh? Yeah, the connecting. Great. Drunk as a skunk. Mr. Marsh? Oh, this is going to be his time. This this isn't happening. <laughs> what? I don't like that guy. Beep, beep, come back anytime. They all. What does that even mean? It's a cool little catchphrase. They all float down here. It's a werewolf. <laughs> no, it's a werewolf clown, actually. You know how clowns, they like mess with you all the time? Maybe that's what he's doing. He's just messing with them. That's his nature. And just being like the ultimate annoyance. A troll, you could say. Sorry. Oh, we haven't really connected who this is yet. Mike Hanlon. Well, I mean, I know, but he's from their childhood. I remember right? the day I took that photo. We were lucky that summer. I just thought eventually they go to the library and meet him or something. You want a history of this toilet? How many years will you be in here with me? <laughs> <laughs> this is the old ironworks. There was an Easter egg on here. And all these people got killed. The biggest <laughs> mystery is how 253 settlers just disappeared without a trace. Thank you for that illuminating, if somewhat morbid, history. <laughs> Who's next? Hi, partner. This guy sucks, dude. Like, hey, let us know from your childhood was there anyone this obnoxious oh, i'm sure point. there was but and then you're here that's down the street from me and my daddy giving me and my daddy grief for a long long time you like fireworks boy what do you say to rocket pocket what in the heck hey you stop that right now it wasn't a clown at first don't, don't you see it was the werewolf for richie because he I saw like their that hangout spot dumb movie so maybe it's some kind of evil being that can read our minds and take the shape of stuff we're afraid of the clown sitting around trying to scare them maybe so when he eats them they taste oh, better the barbed wire oh well they made that barbed wire look easy <laughs> personally i thought you guys would think i was nuts me too I thought it was just me. Such a thing just isn't empirically possible. It was so real. Yes, yeah, Dan, it almost had my guts for garters. Couldn't it be just some crazy guy dressed up in a clown suit? It's some kind of monster, and it's right here in Derry. I'm gonna bury you! You better get out of here. That's right. Dummy up all of rocks. Rocks. Them kids got some cardio, don't they? They really do. With the leather jackets. Look at the terrain and their jumping Please. fences. No. Fat boy, the Jew, and the sissy. Four eyes and the patch girl, too. The Losers Club. <laughs> <laughs> Look at y'all's hair, though. Losers Club. <laughs> I got bones to pick with you, but I'm willing to let that go for today. Today, I want him, so buzz off. Why don't you guys get out of here? Who's gonna make me? We are. Hey, dig the oh, wax out of your stand. Barf breath. You're through, B Bowers. Get out. <laughs> ah. Let Bev do it. She's got an arm. Ah. Come on, get out of here. Well, I hate to tell y'all, I'd be knocking <laughs> kids out, boy. <laughs> oh my God. They got Bev. Oh no. <laughs> Hit him in the hip. Come on, Henry! That was a good stand, wasn't it? Get out. The six of us could put you They'll in just the throw hospital. rocks at you. Seven. I'll kill you all. Man, y'all should have jumped him and took that knife champ. at least. <laughs> Get some new material, champ. <laughs> I love that. He's like an old beat hyena. Mm hmm. I'll kill you all! Bro, you float too. You Why are you guys anyway? We're sort of a club. Yeah, the losers club. Want in? Yeah, I do. Oh. Damn, that was a good shot, wasn't it? That was cool. Oh, yeah. That's the origin of the photo. Oh, I thought they were scared of pictures. They took off. My dad says there's no way to date this one. He says it's probably from the earlier mid-1700s. Pennywise the clown? That's him. That's him. 
200 years ago. He was here then? Here he is again. Same man. It's not a man. It. That's what happened back in Georgia. In Georgia's room, room yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, and the picture moved. The towns used to be like that. We would just walk around on stilts, like a circus <laughs> town. You're kind of trash as a clown, dude. Kill you all! I'll drive you crazy. <laughs> I'll kill you all! I'm every nightmare you ever had. I'm everything you ever were afraid of. They can't close the book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Grabbed him, I thought. Was that creepy or what? Yes. That was like Psycho Bob. <laughs> you saw off the Simpsons. I didn't want I don't know who to. That is. You, you did. I just want to forget about it. It's not just us. It's all the other kids too. Who's gonna be next? Be 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 Bev's right. We've got to do something. They don't see what we see. Grow up. You stop believing. They just slap their heads. That's off why they don't see. They just don't believe it. It kills kids. Damn it. Got to do something. Who's he talking to? You killed my brother George. You bastard. Let's see you now. I want to kill it. So is that like a legend or a myth or something or urban legend? Like a, yeah, exactly. Exactly. From the 1700s, at least. Maybe it's like a curse, too. Please help me. Help me. And they bonded quick, didn't they? Even the new kids just hugging up on everybody in the woods. That couch looks no comfy. I got a letter from mom today. She asked when we were going to make her a grandma. I was just thinking the same thing myself. <laughs> you want to pay attention to me? Mm. <laughs> that sucks because they're a cute couple. You're a resident, Stan <laughs> speaking. This better be good. Oh, it's Stan. Hello, Stan. It's Mike Hanlon. Who did you say? Mike Hanlon. Mike Hanlon? I'll be damned. Stan. Well, hot dog. It's come back. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Can you make it, Stan, please? No, I can't absolutely promise that. Don't you remember, Stan? But I'll, I'll certainly consider it. Don't you remember your promise? What? Yes, I remember. I hope you come. They're all thriving, kind of. Mm -hmm. Was it, honey? No one, really. I think I'll take a bath. Funny how they all cope with it. <clears throat> like, this guy just wants to go shower off. Cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. That's the scout's all right. He's a bloody sniper. Oh, don't go four for four. Oh, oh my. Bev is different. Ten out of ten. Like it's supposed to be Bev. Yeah. yeah. This is still crazy. I'm with Stan. So what if I can shoot good? You think a handful of stones are gonna show him, Richie? Mother's earrings, baby. Solid <laughs> silver. That's just stuff in movies. I mean, what good's it gonna do They're against silver? They can How kill heavy it. are those earrings? Believe, Stanley, we have to. Oh, because he thinks it's a werewolf, maybe, and it's silver. And morally Boy. straight. My kid did Cub Scouts for a minute. You were the Cub Scout leader. I was. <laughs> He's the hottest Cub Scout leader ever. You guys don't have to do this. My dad says you have to know when to take a stand. Lucky seven, Stanny. Said I was in. Yeah. You think we're going to let you have all the fun there, Billy Boy? I'm with my friends, right? Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like battery ass. It really does. No, guys. They're all wasting it. <laughs> When I was young, I had a little chamber on mine. It looked so kind of nerdy. They got their puff of courage. These kids are wild as mess going in here. I though. know. Where are they going? The sewer, stupid. Yeah, they're not coming back out. Grease balls. You mean we gotta go down there? Stan, if you don't want to go, now now's the time to turn back. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Stan's got a lot to live for. Oh no. That looks like that's where he lives, right there. Yeah. Go how we went. You'll come on ahead of him, chase him back towards us. Me and Belch are gonna catch up to him. What are you afraid of, huh, boogeyman? <laughs> <laughs> that's the second sound he's made in this whole movie. He's <laughs> and only he goes, burped. And he, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going, hey. <laughs> oh, no. He's leaving puff balls? Uh-uh. Maybe he's just scared of the light. Maybe he's scared of death or something. Oh, my God. Is he dead? He's a relentless bully. Well, we like to confirm our kills on this channel. We do. But they're the lucky seven, so he might be of the unlucky three. Hopefully. Ah! <laughs> Some damn ninjas, ain't they? <laughs> yeah. Hi, kid. Not the switchblade. Man, I used to have one of those. I don't know how to put them things back up. That was a comb, of course. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> uh, guys, this is very weird. When I was a kid, man, a little kid, I was actually country as hell. So I used to collect knives and uh, the switchblade <laughs> was always highly coveted, but it was illegal. So I had to settle for the comb version. <laughs> we used to get them at the dam. Yeah, we used to go to the, uh, the flea market. Hell yeah. We yeah, go to the flea market. like a flea market. And you go whoosh, and it'd be a comb and then <laughs> comb it out with it. Are you serious? It's crazy. I can't believe that even... Because, like, growing up, your parents always talk about the good old days and all that or the old times. But now there's, like, old times in our lives. Back yeah. when you could go to flea markets, and that was actually like cool well, stuff we, there. Well, we go to flea markets sometimes. The stuff there is kind of 
Not the yeah, best. Kind of janky. Very janky. I'll be so mad if our kids were down in the pipes without me knowing. To be honest, when I was growing up, if we would have had that, I 100% would have been down there. Now, he's picking off his button. die. I want you to think about every rock you threw. I want you to think about that before you die. Oh, heck no. That was like a fun house or something. What? Huh? Is it like a source or something? It's not a person? Maybe that guy had like a UFO abduction fear or something. That thing came and got him. Sucked him right up. Belt! Oh, you said the source like this was lost or something. No, <laughs> no, 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 not like that. What was that? The thing stressed him out so bad his hair turned white or something. Help! It's coming! It's coming! It's quick! No, can you pause it for one second? Can I tell you what I was meaning by that? What? When I was saying it's a source, I thought about the term it. Because it could be a clown maybe to some people, but it maybe could be a light. Or it could be a werewolf. It's, it's just it. it. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So it's just taking the form of whatever scares you. Yeah, whatever it is that scares you. Right. To me, it would probably be the same thing as that clown. That looked like the father ship. Right, it looked like a turtle UFO. I said fathership, not mothership, because that thing had a damn 12 pack. <laughs> what? You see that? <laughs> it looked like a turtle shell UFO. Is that it? Look! Take hands before we get lost in this stuff. Is everybody here? I'm here. Stanny? Richie? Yeah, here. Whose hand is this? That you been? Yeah. Oh shoot, I already know where this is headed. We have to resist! Ew. That's so messed up. That's not George! Don't break the circle! He has Baby. to know that, right? Baby, what do you think you're doing down here with these That's boys? That's not your dad. Daddy, I'm... Wake up, hot stuff. That ain't daddy. <gasps> there ain't nothing there. Because he wasn't afraid of it. The only damn prayer he knows, isn't it? The Cub Scout. Stanley boy. He was the weak link. You all taste smell when you're afraid. Oh, he was trying to freaking season them up. I am eternal. Oh, mm, no. Is, is it because he believed it was battery acid? It's like tearing his latex up. Don't be. Damn, that was a good somersault. Oh, I wasn't a cheerleader. So he's kind of a demon. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go after it. No, it's dead. We have to make sure. Mm -hmm. I will never look at a drain the same. Can't believe they survived that. I'd be running off that place. Swear you have to, to wonder me. if that was real, right? Swear to me that if it isn't dead, the promise. I swear. I swear. I swear it. On you. Oh, he didn't swear? Yeah, I swear. I felt like he would last for dramatic effect. I swear too. Bro, if he's swearing, I'm swearing. <laughs> There's just no way. Yeah. <laughs> we knew. Swear. Aww. Stanny? Coming upstairs to scrub your back <laughs> and your chest. Stanley? Stanley? Stan? I think it got him. What is that? Why? 
What happened? It. Ah! So do you think you did that to himself, or do you think it came and did it to him? Or do you think it can only operate in dairy? I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here trying to wrap my head around, did he do that on purpose? Did he do that? Because it kind of looked like well, it, that's right? That's what I'm saying. I guess he was just too scared to face it again. That means they're not all going to be together. They're going to be weaker now. They're a member down. That's what you think? Yeah. Georgie, what could I have forgotten? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Take your pick. Uh, 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 Billy oh. Boy. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> for the one on the end. That's already taken. Sorry. That's Georgie. I thought that was Stan. I don't know. All I remember will be you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> not afraid of you. So he's trying to break him, basically. He's not scared of him. He has no power. Hey, he's a celeb. Yeah, and he sells freaking the scariest books around, don't he? I know how old I look. Welcome home, Bill. Oh. Um. Only wish it was under happier. Come on, let's go out. It occurred to I me in there that busy. I didn't need to create any more paranoia than we already have here. I don't remember much of it at all, what we did. How come you remember? Never learned. Lucky seven. One of us lived around here. Right. Yeah. Right down the street. She was poor. Her father was the janitor. This was poor town. Yeah, still is. Oh, so it's coming back to him now because he's here. See, I'm glad I'm watching this as an adult because when I think about when I was seven, eight, nine, Yours? ten, it is kind of hard to remember. It I mean, is. I know hey, they're a little older, but it's all I need. I'm not quite as old as them. I've arranged dinner tonight for all of us. I don't think we're all here yet. Whatever it is, it's powerful stuff. What? Your old whip. Oh. <laughs> I ran across in the pawn shop about a year ago, but here's the real kicker. I bought this tube repair kit. About three months before, there was some kind of force guiding us that summer. Ooh. That's why he wants to bring them together. Mm -hmm. This just got so mythological, didn't it? <laughs> Brought back some terrible memories. <laughs> Said, damn, I hope you didn't find my old skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> I get bugged driving up and down the same old strip. But in, but in, dairy, dairy. Not the paramount, you slime balls! Where are the people of this city supposed to get their culture? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mike Hammond. I'm gonna stick with you and I'm gonna wait. Hey! You look like you could use this. I don't think so. A little young for you, isn't she, Richie? Beep, beep, Richie! One balloon, not enough! And no one sees this. Pennywise is. Ah! <laughs> 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 So is Richie next, basically? <laughs> Get out! You're too old to stop me! If you see- Excuse me, sir! <laughs> 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 my Tell him! Tell him! Tell him! Get out! Last chance, don't you? Get out! That's so horrifying, Excuse like, me you're sitting there seeing something so scary and no one else can even perceive it. <laughs> and also he's so noisy you can't even focus like you're sitting there trying to tell somebody something and he's back there causing all that racket in your head <laughs> Aww. i hope they can stand on it okay that's pretty good one. <laughs> not just any cards bicycle they always made the best noise Oh, they're putting on their bike to go. Oh, I never saw this trick. We used to put the cans on the tire. Cans? <laughs> Double aces. Go. He looked disappointed as hell. He dropped the car. Did you see that? He's like, <laughs> that's Billy. I would be squishing right, that car into so Follow hard. up on this Miller thing. Up. What? What's that? I'll call you from the hotel. Okay. Look at that leather vest. Pull over here, will you? Wait for me. I'll be like, w no, you're going in the woods. Yeah, that does seem so random, huh? Well, maybe he has to pee. <laughs> or reminisce. <laughs> she wins! She wins! She wins! You heard them do the pig call. <laughs> Damn, history rhymes, don't it? Come on, help the kid out. You're right, poor 
Corky. Have a nice trip. See you later, Corky. <laughs> They're just as greasy. That'd be embarrassing, though, if a bunch of kids just didn't give a damn you're standing there. <laughs> they don't respect you at all. You're going to put some shit water on it. <laughs> be prepared. I guess back then the rivers were kind of clean, huh? Hang tough, champ. You're going to make it. Ben! Ben Hanscom! It's nice to see you again. What have you been up to all these years? Oh, my God. We can't wait to get you down here with us. You're in my mind. Why is he a swamp skeleton right now, though? Because his dad's dead body freaking uh, rotted or something. I don't know. And that's what freaks him out. <gasps> oh, God. Any spare change, Mr. Hey, uh, you walked all over your grave. Wasn't going to hurt you. I know you. Why do you sound like the clown, though? You could do voiceovers for him. I'd be mad as hell if I went down to the damn reservoir and somebody was asking me for change. <laughs> this is why I come down here. <laughs> Mary Ann, did you say? I'm going to get away from y'all. Reliving your childhood down there. Saying hi to some old ghosts, you know. Turn back now. At least that one didn't pop and explode blood all over his face. True. It's Wheezy. <laughs> a wheezy Wee. Oh, that's why they called him oh, Wheezy, because he had an inhaler. Oh, I didn't even by. know. Holy nose. That was like Eleven. Whoa. Come with me. Relax, Eddie. I'm not going to bite you. Do you know what a placebo is, Eddie? I got to go. Water with a squirt of camphor to make it taste like medicine. Great big lie. I do have asthma. I do. <laughs> Sir? So maybe he's been living this lie his whole life. Like a good pull on the old lung sucker, huh? What? Thank you. Give me a cigar. Mr. Keene? This is trippy. Cigar for the old man. I just wanted to thank you for trying to tell me the truth a long time ago. Hydrox. H2O. Oh, he remembers. It's all in your head, sonny. You do remember me. <gasps> Mr. Keene? Get out of dairy, curly boy. No cigars, sonny. That was really, really creepy. I'm sorry, I was looking for Marsh. Marsh? You don't mean Alvin Marsh. Father's been dead this last five years. Dang. But on the bell, it... Oh. I thought it said Marsh. Let me give you tea. No, no, I insist. Mm -mm. Ain't that her old house? That could be it. That, I thought it was it because, you know, don't invite me in. Plus, I just had a full hallucination <laughs> on the porch. I know. I, I misread that completely. I'd like to freshen up. And I trust my eyes. I got fact checkers. Mm, that's balloon drain right there. Did you fall asleep in there? What a weird host. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you rushing her? Jesus. You made her go freshen up. I love what you've done with the place. How kind you are, miss. Well, go on, dear. Drink it while it's nice and hot. No, thanks. Don't trouble your pretty little head, dear. It did say Marsh on the doorbell. They float down there. I worry about you, Bevy. I worry a lot. Oh, do you need to uh, run, uh, uh, uh. Bevy? <laughs> she got slower when she got older. <laughs> he, like, doesn't scare me. He pisses me off. Because why are you doing that to them? Oh, wow. Even that lady wasn't real. Maybe she's just seeing the house boarded up. I'm trying to figure out what's the creepiest scene. How dare he do this to me? Oh, I thought that was Sylvester Stallone over here. Something like a little crisis to bring the estranged couple closer together, eh? Would you consider giving me a few days? Don't even think about leaving, Audra. You've worked very hard to get where you are. I know you do nothing to jeopardize that. Or to turn a friend overnight into a violent enemy, ready to crucify you at any cost. See you tomorrow. International reservations, please. I'd like a seat on your next flight to the United States. That's fancy. I was about to say. That's one that would have a cat like this. Sure. Yeah. Eddie? Ben? Eddie Casper. Hey, Stack. Mike, is that you? Hey, such as I am, hey, Stack. The life of the party. Hey, listen, who wants a drink? Man, I'm club soda. Don't let him see you like this. Get a grip, man. It was too much fun in 67. Just get a hold. <laughs> <laughs> Who got bald? Who got wrinkled? And how many got chilling got wings? <laughs> beep, beep, Richie. <laughs> Ooh, the slingshot girl. What a bunch of handsome old men. Man, it got awkward when the girl pulled up, didn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the hell? Hi, good looking. Richie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather catch you than anybody else in the whole world, Beverly Marsh. So much came flooding back. It was like a tidal wave. 
What are we getting ourselves into? Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's the ponytail. I saw something today. It. Help us remember, Mike. As soon as I crossed the county line, it was like this veil dropped over my eyes. I think I get it now. When they're not kids anymore and they grow up, they literally forget. So that way they can't like come back as adults and hunt them down. Mm -hmm. He makes them forget. It was like a spell or something or a curse or. I'm okay. Yeah. Big white guy, red nose, about 75 feet tall, mouth full of razor sharp teeth. 75 foot tall because he was so short mm -hmm. right then. <laughs> I'd forgotten it. I stared that creep right in the face. And you saved Stan's life. Hey, speaking of Stan. Stan! Stan! When he gets here, we can fill him in. Come on, Mike, talk to us. Have a couple of drinks, huh? <laughs> to the Losers Club. All right. To the Losers, the losers, losers Club. Club. You think they got Stan first because he was the most unsure, remember? Well, yeah, he was just the most scared. I think he was just mentally broken. He never recovered, I don't think. I hope it explains it a little bit more. <laughs> Look how he's eating with a chopstick. <laughs> Oh, this is like their last meal in a way. They're getting steak and lobster today, boys. Hey, what happened to that guy with the white hair? He got left down there. He confessed to all the murders of all the children. His hair had turned white. He was babbling about a bright light. But it was the killer. Yeah. We stopped it. Danes, we, we get to go inside that psych ward? Henry Bowers, up here. Sharp stuff. You helped me once. Remember, you chased those brats. Don't you have another chance? You gotta go back and finish the job. You gotta go back to Derry and kill them all. Kill them all, Henry. Kill them all. Kill them all. Is he brainwashing him? Well, sports fans, <laughs> this has been a real hoot. But I got a plane out at 6 a.m. Richie, you're not leaving. Love you, but count me out. Maybe he's right. We don't know what we're talking about yet, mainly because we haven't talked about it yet. Suppose we give Mike a chance to fill us in. All I'm saying is I'm going to go get some sleep. Why don't we show Michael a little courtesy? Yeah, Try they need to stop him. arguing. He wants to go, he goes. Now, we all came here based on the strength of a promise. As far as I'm concerned, everybody at this table made good on that promise. Wherever we go from here, I have no expectations. Well said, Michael. Sorry, just taking care of Richie. All right, nah, then. Some of them should be hey, helping. To Mr. Michael Hanlon. You just the librarian. See my fortune now. You're going to be eaten by a big greasy monster. Have a nice day. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> I knew them fortune cookies looked a little thick. As soon as the vibes What's weren't wrong? good, it Something showed up. Matter? Yeah. Everything... What's okay? Everything was fine. Thank you. Very fine. <clears throat> what is that about to be? A tarantula? This is Mike Hanlon, an old friend. Dang, I guess she did have to clean it, huh? But how? She did, her dad didn't see it, but she had to clean it, so Why she didn't have to see it. The only or ones something? that can see this. Let's ask the answer, man. Oh, Mike. Because it doesn't exist in base reality. He's from a different Hold dimension, and only your Hello, perceptions Stan? can see him. Is this a U.S. resident? That's crazy. I'm trying to get a hold of Stan Uris. You tell that loser that if he hasn't left already, he's a dead man. We all managed to show up. Stan is dead. He cut his wrist in the bathtub. Right after I found him. So that wasn't it because it wasn't in Derry, right? Yeah, I think so. I think he was just mentally weak. But how did he remember if he wasn't there? I think he was just so scared that he never stopped thinking about it. Maybe. So he just never got a chance to forget. Stan was the last one of us to see it that summer. Even seeing the clown didn't make it real for him. I remember I was coming down Chestnut Street and I saw Stan running through the park. Hi, yo, Silver! Away! <laughs> took him hours to calm down enough to tell me what happened. He said he was down in Lampkin Park by a bird feeder, watching birds. I would not go towards that abandoned house. He said he didn't mean to go into that house, but... Uh, <laughs> he didn't mean to. This voice kept whispering to him. He figured there was a rational explanation. I'm right here. Oh, no. <laughs> stop! Tony, <laughs> stop it! A zombie? A mummy. The only thing I need to brush up to on my monster. Ew. He was thinking about something else other than being scared, I guess. The day that we went into the sewer, Dan saw it face to face. Not the clown, but he saw what was behind the clown. He ran up to me in school and he said, I saw it. I looked right into it. Some kind of lights. I looked right into its deadlights. I swear, he said, I looked into its deadlights. Deadlights. I need a drink. Yeah, me too. I sure don't got something here. Oh my gosh. Doors would just be off limits for us. <gasps> hey, sorry I'm late. Let's see who's here. Ba -ba 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 Billy boy. <laughs> I finally made it, guys. I'm in the deadlights now. We all float down here, and you will too. And they all float. What? They all float. <laughs> what the heck? Does that mean? That whole entire sequence was crazy right there. That was so creepy. I know. He just called them all out on their stuff. 
So at its base, it's something called the dead lights. Or that's where you go, or that's what happens when you die, the dead lights or something. Let's go. I just saw balloons on the floor over there, so they, they don't go it, away. Mm -mm. Well, no, when they first walked in this place, the blood was still Thrust. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Thrusts his fist against the post and still insists he sees the ghosts. Mom gave, yeah, gave me that to say to, to, to help with, with my st stutter. So that freaks you out with oh, the storm out. inside, didn't it? It ain't help. Henry, down here. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like Bell, jump. What are you doing down there? You got a problem in there you need some help with, Henry? That's a good boy. You don't have to talk out loud, Henry. I can hear you when you just think it. And they can't hear me at all. What do you want? Same thing you want. I wanna pay them back. Pay them back. But you're gonna have to get out of here. You're gonna have to go back to Derry. I need you, Henry. We all need you. I can take care of them if they only half believe. You're alive, Henry. You can get them no matter if they believe, half believe, or don't believe at all. I can't get out of here. They, they got wires on the windows and, and Koontz is on the door tonight. Man, Koontz is the worst. I'll take care of Koontz, Henry. Ooh, the old switchblade. Lead the way, Henry. So he's teaming up with Henry because he's physical? Yeah, he, he needs to go put some fear back in these people. Weaken their numbers. Your head's gonna be bouncing off the floor! Oh my god. <laughs> how did Dog Clown get there? I don't know. I don't know how he manifested himself in that guy's consciousness. I will have no need of this stuff, Mike. Tell us things so we don't have to remember what we just saw in the library. There was a rash of killings, maimings, disappearances. Everybody was afraid, but nobody did anything. Henry Bowers confessed to everything and the killing stuff. You knew all about this even then. It's too horrible, so they act like... They act like it doesn't even happen. Like they all did. Mr. Ross, Henry Bowers was waiting. I thought he was going to help me, but just turned around and went inside. Daddy came home. One of the only times I was ever really glad to see him. And right on schedule, the killing started up again. I wanted to be absolutely certain before I called anyone. That little girl, I thought she was carried in a stretcher. I didn't see the body, did I? I did, it was covered, but I didn't see it either, but... There's something very special about us being together. It could have just been an arm. We found each other Maybe. that summer. And our togetherness made us strong. Six of you left Dara and became unusually successful. I stayed here because I wanted to. I appreciate what you've done for everyone. How much farther is Derry? Maybe 500 yards. Just cross the old bridge down there at the Barrens and hang a left. Don't you want your balloon first, Miss Dembro? What a took off. No. Don't you want it? Still haven't talked about what we're going to do, if we're going to do anything. She actually did a pretty good job. It'll be a lot harder than that, you would think. <laughs> <laughs> he's such Dude, a troll. Dude, he sucks. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine Pennywise on Xbox? Somebody get murdered? Can you really see it? I thought I was going crazy. I fell in love with all you guys that day. <laughs> well, that's why. And after we cleaned it up, the blood never came back. That's a cool little spot, though, wherever they're at, because you saw that tall tree. Okay. That'd be cool if they would have a tree in your house. <laughs> like a real one, you know? We got some little baby trees back there. <gasps> oh! No! No way. Pay you back. So we'll pay you all back. I'm glad we're alone for a minute. How about Paris the poem? Winter fire. Yes, I knew it. January embers. My heart burns there too. I've been waiting a long time to thank the poet. Is that even her? Did you ask? Bill first. No. Oh, you better be careful, brother. Oh no. You just made out with it. Kiss elbow, me, elbow. Fat boy. Just don't tell your friends about that. Mm -mm. Oh, he needs Mike. A medical attention. Mike! No. Man, that made me hurt right here. Mike's the one that brought them all together, and he's the one who gets got first. That's crazy. If Mike dies, there will be five of us left. Why is it so mean? How could I be so blind? At least you fell in love with somebody. Damn. That's a miracle. This man can talk, can he? <laughs> Your hair is winter fire. Oh my god. Why'd you say that? You wrote it, didn't you? When I was young, I thought it was a bill, but it Damn it, Bev, is that you in there? Is that the clown? I don't know what the hell is going on. How am I supposed to know? Me. <laughs> Maybe you should tell her, like, what happened. <laughs> my heart burns there, too. <clears throat> she kind of confuses me. <laughs> you know. She's full of kisses, isn't she? I guess one of you could go in for just a minute. Everyone else is right outside. Be careful. You can't trust anyone. Anybody asks, you know, party got out of hand, dancing on the table, you took a fall. Anyone who see me dance will buy that. It's a stab wound. What are you gonna do? I honestly do not know. My jacket, outside pocket. Hey, it's silver, it can kill it. But we left these down in this 
You went back? I was pretty sure I was asleep. Ten years ago, my life was going downhill. I think I really wanted it to wake up and kill me. It took me all day stumbling around in the dark. I found one right away in the drain trap. The other one, the one that hit Pennywise, was lodged in the crack in the wall. When I came out, I kind of got my life together. The only change was this, almost overnight. I'd be mad at him. I'm like, man, you ain't took more time to get some more silver. Oh, no. I got two shots. If you decide not to use those, I'll understand. People, that is a dead body. I think we ought to call the police. You don't understand. This whole town is it in some way. All of them. If we call the police, get the town involved, something bad's going to happen to one of us. Have it your way. Stan is dead. Mike came close. You can put this behind you just like that. Appreciate it. If you just put that on my card, send me a receipt. Man, y'all going to jail. That was wonderful. Need a ride, Bill? Where are you going, Richie? Airport. I guess we are too. Bill. I just saw something. I can't go. I don't want to be scared anymore. I'm going back in. This time I'm going to kill it. Help me, please. Hey, think about the kids, man. Do it for the kids. Their hugging is kind of throwing me off, though. Like, I'm hugging ass people right here. Maybe I should just be a little more open, but geez. <laughs> <laughs> he said, get in here, boy. <laughs> So what, they have to shoot him twice in the head? Then he did a front flip into the train. <laughs> like Simone Biles. Well, like a machine gun. I brought this. It's the only thing I saved from those days. <laughs> why'd you do him like that? I mean, why'd you do her like that? <laughs> Headlights. We saw him too for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of just made some new ones, I'm trying to tell y'all. Lucky seven. We're all here now. Wake up! It's death. You don't have to go down there, Richie. Now I don't have to go in. I still say we should have brought a machine gun. If they had a silver bear trap, it wouldn't get him. To be fair though, like, they could make any type of silver weapon. They're walking down there with nothing. No, they have the bullets. The bullets. I'd make me some silver nails and stick them through a silver bat. <laughs> like Steve? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Water drive. It's got her. It could be a trap. I mean, yeah, why is he just running off like that? But Audra really did get got, though. But how would he know that? Because it obviously looks into their subconscious, draws things out of it, and then mm -hmm. makes them perceive it as real. Stay close together. That way. We're here. The roots all grow down. Something is coming. Oh, the boat. And this ceiling's held up. 30 plus. My boat. You sent me out and it killed me. No, oh, George, I did. It was in the drain, Bill. Come on, man. Fight it. George is dead. Nice. That'll be really killed hard. my brother George, you bastard. You killed my little brother. And now you're gonna pay. Go! This is your last chance! Show yourself. You still think you can see me? <laughs> You'll see only what your little mind can allow. Go! For if you stay, you'll lose your little mind and my dead lives like all the others. What if every time Pennywise talks, you just interrupt them? Is that it? It feeds, Richie. And in order to feed, it has to take on some kind of physical form. It's here. <laughs> what in the Skull hell? Skull City, boy. It's like the catacombs down there. Be five, bo fum. I have to tell you guys something before we go in there. I I've been lying. About what? I said that I was seeing someone. We don't care about that. In fact, I haven't ever, I mean, I've never even been with any. Eddie, Eddie, what are you You've saying? Seeing You're Andy. a virgin? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help you with that, pal, but thanks for sharing. Richie, let him talk. <laughs> I could never sleep with somebody that I didn't love. And I've never really loved anyone, except you guys. So which one are you planning on sleeping with? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't like that moment, because that's scary. I feel like that throw me off my game. If I was getting ready to go kill it, right before we walked in, somebody just confessed they were a virgin. At <laughs> 40 like, years old? I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> like, make a movie of all the it. things. But maybe he didn't want to die, like, not telling them the truth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was up with that little door, though? Huh. Is that all the people? That's her. Bill, for God's sake! It's Audra. I'm gonna get her. This is straight out of Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Oh, hell no. What? 
<laughs> that CGI is terrible, but I love it. She's a little rusty. She's got one more. He sees the ghosts. Bang! Ooh! No, it did not ricochet off its head. Oh, remember? Yeah, that bug works out. That bug hits the crunches on it. They're like bugs trapped in a bug light. This took a really big turn. I believe in the Easter Bunny. But I don't believe in you, buddy. But I don't believe in you. But I thought it was just water. Yeah, but it's all about what you believe, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Oh, hell no. She found the rock? Where did she have to shoot? Because it bounced off his head. In the glowing part. Yes. Here, don't do the no look. Got Bones. to. Bones. Bones. Shut her down. Then Cormier, body shot, body shot. Hey. <laughs> don't you talk. You're gonna be fine, sweetie. It was the Came out in 1990. <laughs> <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> Last time, don't call me that. Eddie spaghetti. Mm -mm. Eddie. Eddie. To be honest, he kind of died soft as hell, didn't he? What even happened to him? Well, he told him about his V card and then... If that thing comes back when I'm 70. Let's finish it once and for all. Why did it retreat off slowly, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're jumping his ass. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> They could have just called Orkin, the pest control company. They took care of him. Ooh. Audra. What? It's all coming down. What the heck? They leave that place and then just stand right there. Yes, that's how I'd like to remember us. This will be my last entry. The nightmare is over. Well, I feel I may move on. As of this writing, Richie is still knocking him dead. <laughs> Finn and Bev left Derry together. After a week, they were married. They were pregnant. Another curse broken. Kids, that's good. But Audra's condition is unchanged. In that haunted place where she saw its dead lights. Man, this ending's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. This bike saved little Stan's life. You were going so fast, I think we beat the devil. Man, don't put her on the bike where she hits her head. <laughs> Jesus, he can't pedal that bike. Oh, he thinks that's gonna help her, like, come back. <laughs> Everyone's so nice about it, though. I mean, you have to be. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. All right, guys, that was Stephen King's It, babe. What did you think about that? Was it scary? I thought it was freaky uh, up until he turned into a spider. Yeah, that kind of... Well, I, I really am not understanding that part, I guess like you could say. Well, somebody had a... Uh, what's the word where you're scared of arachnophobia? Yeah. Where you're scared of uh, spiders? Yeah. Yeah, basically someone uh, had arachnophobia, I guess. I thought the movie was really good. It, I'll put it this way. I'm really glad that I finally saw the movie It from start to finish. I'm glad that uh, next time I'm at the barber shop or whatever the case may be and my boys start talking about It, I'll be able to join <laughs> the conversation and know what I'm talking about at this point. Yeah. Um, That was not exactly what I thought the movie was going to be. Like I said, mm -hmm. I've seen pieces of the movie. And the part where the blood was in the sink, that's something I vividly remember. No, that part was very weird and creepy. <laughs> the part where he digs the grave, I, I sort of remember that part right there. There was one other part that I remember. Oh, the part where he goes, uh, buh, buh, Billy boy. That part right there. <laughs> yeah, that part was crazy. But I don't remember him doing the part right there. But I feel like I've seen that on a YouTube short or something. Right, maybe. Um, I feel like, it, I feel like this movie set up a good like second movie. Because when they said she was pregnant, it could have, like, the next kid or something. I don't think there's going to be a second movie. There is a second movie. We know that. Oh, the I thought it was a remake, though. Oh, it's a remake? I'm pretty sure it's a remake. Oh. I, I could know. be completely wrong. I don't know. I didn't think it was a remake. I thought it was, like, a second movie. Me and Jay talked about it. Uh, Jay, let me know. Is the second one a remake or is it? Well, obviously, it's got to be a remake because they wouldn't have made us watch that one first without well, watching this Well, if it's one. a remake, it's only an hour and something. 
And this one's like yeah, but this three is so hours. old. People don't watch three hour movies anymore. Oh, okay. Like you know, I thought it was a really fun cinematic experience to say the least, but it did feel a tad bit long in the end. But yeah, you know. Um, but we had to know every. I feel like you. It was it was smart because we had to get to know everybody before we could like know their backstory. Like everyone had their own dealings with it. Right. So it was good to see those. I guess. Yeah, I really like the way the story played itself out. I like the way that. We really met all the characters as they were older and then went to a flashback. And I like how it was basically flashing out of like the present Mm -hmm. and the past. I thought that was a really interesting way to tell the story. And it really helped keep the movie Mm -hmm. like feeling shorter. Yeah. Um, I could have swore because this thing used to be at the Blockbuster or whatever the heck it was when we were kids. And when we were kids, man, we'd walk around and they still had these things on VHS. And I could have swore this movie came in two parts. I I I thought this was two movies, but... I could be completely wrong. I know this one and Titanic, those two movies were, they came in like two parts or something. You don't uh, know what I'm talking about? Uh, no. Because <laughs> the box of Titanic was like this thick. And I just remember because when I was a little kid, I thought, well, of course, all the girls want to rent this. It's two movies. You get two for the price of one. But yeah, I thought the movie was really fun. I think it was like a coming to age story. I thought all the kids were cute. It kind of reminded me of like Stranger Things with them all just, you know, riding their bikes around a small town trying to like, Figure out the mystery of what's going on. Right. I thought it was really, I thought the most interesting part of the story was definitely how the adults in the town just couldn't see what was going on and yeah. how everyone turned a blind eye. But well, even when they were adults, they could see it. So, it well, just, some people could. It was confusing in that yeah. way. It's almost like since they grew up there, maybe some of them know. But then uh, that that is like the weird story about Audra, I guess you could say, because Audra saw it. So, mm-hmm. and she's not from there. She's from a whole different country. Ex- yeah, exactly. So, how did that happen? How did right. she come in contact with it? Because I was thinking, you know, at first, your first contact had to be with this creature, you know, during your childhood. And then it would carry on. And during his like feeding years or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And I thought you had to be a kid because. But if someone knows the answer to that, they probably read the book and know. Right. I really like the way this movie was really grainy. Like, I like the way that it felt like it was captured like a really like almost like an older time than 1990. I don't know how many Blade came out in 1990. Did it not? 98. Oh, that was 98. So maybe we should just watch the movies from 1990. The, 1990, I think, was The Shining. Okay, yeah. So, damn, movies have come a long way since then, mm-hmm. haven't they? Because that spider CGI in the end was terrible. But I will say, from watching The Shining and watching it, I do get kind of similar vibes. There was similar, like, like typewriter vibes. Like, there there was a writer in the story. Like, that kind of stuff, I, I like could feel the same vibe. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think there's like a lot of classic themes in horror. Like typewriters are just creepy by nature. And they're both by Stephen King and he put writers in them probably because he's a writer. Right. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Um, And then another thing, I even felt like some Freddy Krueger action going on with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely think a lot of themes linked into each other. I thought the character of Pennywise was really scary looking, especially when he popped up in the book and the way he was just zoomed into the camera like this was really weird. And I think what makes that character the scariest is his voice. He had Mm -hmm. a really cool voice. And I Um, think just... His unpredictability, because sometimes we wouldn't know if he was like, for example, Beverly that one time. Right. It would be so creepy. Imagine you're just sitting here at night editing or something by yourself. And then you look over and there's just a red balloon in your face. And then pops pop. and bleeds all over me. Yeah, right. And then there's blood all over the stuff. And you guys don't even realize, but we're sitting here in a bloodbath recording this. Right. Trying to hold it together. Yeah. Um, just a crazy movie, man. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought that uh, the way the kids all came together and helped each other out in a time of need Maybe the fact that they were the Losers Club ultimately like gave them more strength, you know? Yeah, I love that aspect of it. That right. was it was in, like a coming day. In my opinion, that part of the movie was very good, and I liked that. Mm-hmm. I like I that part didn't freak me out, but the clown and him being the ultimate troll the whole time. Right, he was the worst. Right, that's the thing about him. Like after about the first hour, it went from scary to like he pissed me off. Like I said, I don't know how to describe me. it. He it would was irritate like, me. It was almost like comedic in a lot of ways. Yeah. Also. Yeah. But I think maybe in the older days, comedy and horror seemed to like intertwine a little more. Than yeah. It does today. Maybe. I don't know. I could be completely off. But even like in the Freddy Krueger movie we watched the Nightmare on Elm Street. Remember when he's in the alleyway and his arms are all long? He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was just like he was trying to be a, a comedian. Like the scary people are trying to like make fun of them it's weird it's weird it's like, like they taunt you or something yeah and like nowadays the the scary person has like a sad backstory that we have to be like boohoo about i feel like the way they would show that a character wasn't just evil back then but also evil and twisted was to add a weird like comedic effect to them yeah you know what i mean so 
uh it's just really interesting that's what i'm saying man it's really cool on this channel how we get to see so many classic movies and when we watch the next version of it whether it's basically it part two or it the remake i'm not really sure but i'm just glad that we have the context of this movie yeah i'm like, glad that we're glad able I to compare it. it and ultimately when we get done watching the movie it's going to come down to which one do we prefer mm -hmm. you know this one was cool you know and then another thing is we watch these movies and in real time like there's just a lot going on you know you're trying not to miss things and stuff it is our first time watching and so uh, well my second time watching this but but after a while it's like you put it together and you really appreciate the film in a way mm -hmm. so i feel like i'll look back at this and really think it was creepier than maybe i gave it credit well for in the time. 90s like if you're thinking about this when you if you watch this in 1990 i bet that scared the pants off you because oh yeah it was new like that was right. like maybe the cgi to us now we're kind of like, eh, like what was it about like those fortune cookies were mad thick like i knew that there's something crazy was about to pop out of them things well i feel like humans had a significantly more vivid imagination back then. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just no way it's possible that our imaginations are what they used to be. Right. Right. I mean, there's just no way. I mean, we, we, we talk about it. Like, even like, you know, like s seeing something crazy, kids nowadays don't even like bat an eye sometimes because they're so used to it. And then, and I, it happens with us too. And I know people would make the argument, well, there's so many ways to be creative and expressive and use your imagination now. I don't buy it. I think back in the day, people use their imagination significantly more than they do now. And so I think that, uh, Things like this just came across as a lot more scary because, you know, people just visualize themselves in those situations a lot. And then another thing is we're constantly connected in today's society. So yeah. if you're scared, you can just turn on YouTube, hang out with some people, you know, hopefully come hang out with us. You know, uh, but back then you didn't have anything. You just had to light the candle and let it ride. So would you do sorry to like change the subject, but do you think that it is like when you think of like iconic figures in horror and stuff like when I'm sitting there thinking, I'm thinking like Freddy Krueger um pennywise michael like, what's his name michael james <laughs> michael james michael the, james the, the scary guy with the face and the hair and um him and the <laughs> michael guy myers. michael myers and the guy with the mask <laughs> michael james shut up <laughs> uh jason you Voorhees know, or freddy krueger anyways the i think of those people but i think now i'm gonna add it or Pennywise to my list. Our son says the word Pennywise at least twice a week for sure. Yeah, but I don't know what he's talking about. He's I talking like about him. his little YouTube videos. Uh, there's some really creepy ones that we don't always approve of. But No, th there's this one guy that he watches. Okay, the clown guy, he does watch that. He's right about that. He's but in Roblox too. Right, Pennywise yeah. Is. But yeah. there's this one guy where the head pops out of the toilet, and I just do not like that one. That one's creepy. And then there's another one. like uh, It's like a... It's a Thomas the Choo Choo Train, but he's a spider or something. Oh, Somebody yeah. let us know, man. One of you young kids in the comments, let us know. Uh, but let, we, there's this one guy who's basically a train. It's the scariest thing. Yeah, and he looks so do. creepy. But right. But yeah, Pennywise or It, I don't know which one right. you want to call him, but he's one of my like, now horror characters. His name's about. Pennywise. That's Pennywise. Okay. Yeah. Pennywise the Clown, probably the most iconic scary clown ever, maybe. Other than, what was that serial killer? John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. So maybe uh, when did John Wayne Gacy do all that? It was before 1990, right? Mm. So maybe he was somewhat of an inspiration. Yeah, because he he fed on kids, basically. So maybe it was like a... And John Wayne Gacy convinced people to put themselves in handcuffs for him. <laughs> There's no man alive about to convince me to put handcuffs on myself for you. There's just no shot. No, I, nope. I'm not doing it either. But then again, man, when I was like, you know, 15, 16 years old, you might have outsmarted me. He, but he was like, hey, man, you want a beer? Let me put some handcuffs on you for it. <laughs> No, thank you, Mr. John Wayne Gacy. I'm good. Right. Guys, we had a lot of fun with that. It is the beginning of October. We don't normally do humor. Uh, let us know. This is a very old movie, obviously. This movie is, what, 24 years old at this point? 90? Or 34 years old at this yeah. point. So, um, yeah, we're definitely going to check out some more horror during October. Uh, um, let us know Here's what we session. have so far. Oh, sorry. No, good. Th sorry to interrupt you. This is what we have so far, guys. Next one is it, 2017, of course, because we watched this one. Based off the poll, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. It, Get Out, Conjuring, and A Quiet Place. I can't wait and to watch all of them. And Silence of the Lamb. Let's go. I know what Silence of the Lamb is. I haven't seen it, but I, I know what it is. Because do you not know what that is, A Silence of the Lamb? No. I feel like when we watch it, you'll probably know what it is. Because it's just culture. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard to avoid some of this stuff. I know that. I know I've seen the cover, and I thought it had the same cover as the butterfly effect. I'm not going to spoil anything, but... I know who the protagonist in that movie is for sure. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comment section what other scary movies you want us to add to the list.
and then we got november coming so i don't really know what we'll watch in november but then we got december and we want to get into some christmas <laughs> movies because last year on the channel we really didn't do any of that No, we had so. one which was guardians of the galaxy <laughs> and it was like a special and we actually messed it up because uh we had just switched over cameras and stuff and we actually recorded that in the wrong frame rate and it came out absolutely awful so i think to this day it was, it's our worst produced video yet 100 <laughs> percent. so uh thank you guys for hanging out man it's been real um see you on happy the next one. halloween <laughs>